Okay, so today naman ay bigibigay tayo ng another example for median. Ayan, so median for ungrouped data. And this is an example of ungrouped data. So, yun yung mga number na naka-scattered um, lang or nakalis or hindi naka-organize. So, kapag ganyan ang inyong data, so automatic that is ungrouped data. And ang formula na gagamitin nyo ay n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay, so ganyan po yung formula natin to compute the median for ungrouped data. So yung n na yan, that is the total number of data or kung ilan ang given number or ilan yung total frequency. Plus 1 is constant divided by 2 is always constant. So yung 1 and 2 is always constant and yung n is nakadepende kung ilan ang given number or ilan yung total number of the data or ilan yung frequency. Okay? And we have there the TH kasi nga we are pertaining to the position. So, isang formula na to ay formula for the position. So, para ma-determine nyo um, pang ilan na number or anong position na andun yung median natin or the middle number. So, pero bago natin yan alamin kung ano yung position gamit yung formula na to, i-arrange muna natin yung data from lowest to highest. Ayan. So, in-arrange ko na yung data from lowest to highest. Ayan. So, alam ko naman na lahat tayo ay marunong mag-arrange ng data lowest to highest. So, ito yung lowest number. Ito yung highest number. Okay. So, yun po muna yung unang yung gagawin. Always arrange your data lowest to highest. And then, follow with the formula. Ang kailangan sa formula is N. So, pag sinabi natin N, that is the total number of data or ilan ba yung mga numbers natin. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, so, we have 16 numbers. That's why the value of N is 16. Okay? So, ganun lang po lagi yung value ng N. So, substitute natin sa formula. N is equal to 16 plus 1 is constant divided by 2 is another constant. So, just copy the TH kasi nga we are pertaining to the position. So, 16 plus 1, we have, ayan, 17. And then, copy lang yung 2 kasi wala naman tayong gagawin dyan na operation. So, just copy. And then, also the TH. Then, after noon, divide natin. 17 divided by 2. 17. Ayan, 17 divided by 2. We have 8.5. So, 17 divided by 2, we have 8.5 and then copy the TH. So, itong 8.5 na to, that is the position of the middle number or median natin. So, hanapin natin nasaan dyan yung pang 8.5 na number. So, this is the first, second, third, fourth position, fifth position, sixth, seventh, eighth. So, this is the eighth position. Pero dito, as you can see, 8.5. 8.5, not just 8 number. Ang kailangan daw is 8.5. So, automatic ang 8.5. So, meaning yung median natin ay nasa pagitan ni na 8th position at ni 9th position. So, nandyan sa gitna nila yung 8.5 position or yung median natin. Okay? So, always remember kung may 0.5 or may decimal point yung position ng median nyo, automatic, kunyari 8.5 so ang number or yung median natin nasa pagitan ni 8 at ni 9 pero kung 10.5 ang position nyo, so automatic nasa gitna or between ni 10 at ni 11 position yung median, pero kung um, 3.5 3.5 okay, 3.5 yung position natin, so automatic nasa pagitan or gitna ni 3rd at ni 4th um, number yung ating median. Okay? So, always pong ganun. Pero kung automatic, this is 8. Okay? 8 na agad or sakto yung value natin ng position. So, automatic, 32 is the median. Yun na po agad. Kung halimbawa, 10 or saktong 10, so meaning yung pang 10 na number, yun na agad yung median natin. Pero dito kasi sa case natin ay 8.5. So, meaning, nasa pagitan ni 8 at saka ni 9. So, hanapin natin, alin dyan, alin doon, anong number specific yung nasa gitna ni 32 and 35 para makita natin or malaman yung median. So, ang gagawin, just add the two numbers. So, 32 plus 35. So, add natin yung pang 8 at yung pang 9. Pero kung 10.5 yung inyong number, so meaning yung pang 10 at yung pang 11 yung i-add nyo. 
kung 3.5 sa so automatic yung pang third at yung pang fourth position ang i-add nyo and then divided by 2. So sa case natin 8.5 so yung pang 8 at yung pang 9 na position ang ipa-plus natin and then divide by 2 para malaman yung specific value ng median. So 32 plus 35 is so, para man sure natin, makipakita ko sa inyo, 32 plus 35, we have 67. Okay, and then copy yung 2 kasi wala naman tayong gagawin dyan. So, 67, ayan, 67, 67 divided by 2, so we have, ayan, 33.5. So, 67 divided by 2, we have 33.5. And yan yung nasa pagitan ni 32 and 35. And this will be our median. 33.5 is our final answer. So, ganun lang po kumuha ng median for ungroup data. Okay? So, don't forget to put interpretation. Interpretation. Ayan. So, 50%. Ayan. 50% of the age of the teachers are below 33.5 and another 50% above 33.5 so ganyan lang po maglagi ng interpretation follow the format 50% of the age of the teachers or below 33.5 and 50% above 33.5 so just put 50% kasi nga yung kalahate di ba and another percent okay 50% below 50% above and then put the result so 50% of in title ng data or below so pababa is 33.5 and another 50%, so above naman tayo, so the result is 33.5. So our interpretation, 50% of age of the teachers are below 33.5 and another 50% above 33.5. Okay. So ganyan lang po mag-compute or mag-calculate ng median for ungrouped data.